I got something that I've never seen before from, from Ninja Tools. I know it's licensed and all that, but I've never seen it. It's so, so rare. And this will help me complete one of the hardest lines to complete on Ninja Turtles. How's everybody doing? Uh, welcome to the first video, non-podcast related uh, to the channel. Today we're gonna do uh, an unboxing. I got a, a box from Japan. So here we go. So this package, I've been waiting for this package for a while now, just because I was, uh, hold, uh, I asked the guy, a good friend of mine, to hold on to it until, you know, we could gather a few more other figures. So it kind of like finally got to a point where like, I feel like, all right, that, I think that's enough. We can ship it now, we can, we can get it down. And well, I just wanted to open it with you guys. So but honestly, it's been a while since I got, uh, I started, you know, putting this together. It's been like almost like six months in the, in the making for this box. Right over the bat. Oh, nice. All right, okay, 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 okay. So, so the first one that I'm, I'm gonna open right now, it's a figure uh, for Ninja Turtles. So I believe this is this was the first figure that I asked them to, to, to help me with. Let me open this too. So this two will complete my line of Super Turtles. In Japan, they created a show for the Ninja Turtles, right? So they kind of adapted the the storyline to, I will say, what they will think the kids in Japan will, will like. So they modified the bodies. They did it more like superhero-like. The mutation from regular turtle uh, to super turtle, it was, you know, a little bit of, I don't know, overkill maybe. But uh, this one's... That one's sealed. Oh my God, this is sealed. All right, so these both are sealed. And honestly, the way that I like to display them, I like to display them open. So for for what I bought them, I think I got them for a fair price. I got it, I got them for less than what it would have cost me, like an open figure here in the US. Economically, it wouldn't hurt me too much to open these figures. But as you can see, I completely sealed. Now I'm feeling, I don't know, a little bit iffy to open them, but uh, I don't know, well, we'll see. So we're gonna go for the next one. We're gonna continue with uh, Ninja Turtles. All right, from Takara, I got this beautiful playset for the minis. Everything about Turtles, you know, it's, it's amazing. I like it. The box is a little bit faded. Well, not a little bit, it's a lot, I like faded, sun faded, uh, but honestly, uh, for what I like, which is uh, open open figures, I don't mind the box. I sometimes don't even display the boxes because I don't have the space for it. So, really, what I really care what I what I really care is this: the condition of the piece inside of it. I know the box is faded. I'm really not interested on in displaying this one, but the fact that it has the unapplied stickers this unused uh, mini playset. Oh my God, it's 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 gonna be awesome to put it together. Uh, I'm not gonna necessarily put it together right now because it's gonna take me a while to put all the stickers and all that. I might show you a before and after. And it's in the condition that I was thinking it was gonna be, like new. So anything about minis, I, I absolutely love. So, and the fact that it has the unapplied sticker shit, uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's go to the next one. Talking about minis, I got something that I've never seen before from, from Ninja Tools. I know it's licensed and all that, but I've never seen it. It's so, so rare. Uh, even, you know, every person that I talk to about that, that knows Ninja Turtles, they've never seen this one before. So, this is a, a mini tank. Now, I didn't even know that this one existed. And later the same seller contacted me. He was telling me that there was like a green one. Same, same style, same, same concept, same card, but a green one. So who knows? I'm a, I'm a, now that I have it on my hands, now I'm a, I'm a, I might end up getting that one. But this is super, super cool. 
I'm actually lost for words. Never ever in my life seen or even know that this existed. And the fact that there's another one, another variation of it, it's just, it's just amazing to me. This is, this is really, really what it makes the trip worth it. All right, so let's move on to another lines. So these other two figures are from another toy line that I like a lot. And it's called the, the Samurai Pizza Cats. I'm gonna move the box out of the way now. The thing with this toy line is that they did very, very few figures. These two are part of a five pack figure. And those are the only one, the only figures known to exist from this line. Now, this line is also very, very, you know, very limited. All I know is there's not a lot of figures of this. There's not a lot of on, on, on eBay or anywhere. So, these two figures right here also probably worth it. Now they're missing their weapons. They're missing their weapons. Uh, this one has a tail. This one doesn't have its tail, but still it's not very common. So I'm very, very pleased with this package. Samurai Pizza Cats. Hopefully I can find the other three. So Pizza Cats. All right, moving on. This one is from Dragon Ball. This is actually a plush. It's a plushie, which I honestly thought it was a little bit bigger for the pictures, but you know, it isn't until you have it on your hands that that you really can, you know, have a feeling and, and, and see the size of it. But uh, this is Master Roshi, or as I know him in Spanish, Maestro Roshi. Also the fact that this one has its, uh, it's shell, it's always missing as well as the weapon. So this one is actually complete. Ah, oh, but I, lo I love the, the expression on the Master Roger, you know, with the, <laughs> with the blood on his nose, you know. If you watch the show, you know, you know what's happening. <laughs> really, really nice plushie. Uh, now that I have it on my hands, I kind of want to continue the line. Uh, I know there's, there's several other plushies, uh, I like the size. I honestly thought it was going to be bigger, but being the size that it is, I feel like having the rest of the line, you know, you can you can easily display them as a as a regular action figures. They're not too tall. They should be able to fit on on, on you know, on a, on, a, on about any shelf. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I love it. I, I, I oh my god. I I can I can tell you how much I, I'm loving this. All all rare pieces like Huge shout out to, to my friend uh, Toyo in Japan. You know, he, he he really come through with this one. He helped me out. Now this one has to be open with this other two. Now this next one, it just came perfectly in time because this, this also came in the mail today. And this will help me complete one of the hardest lines to complete on Ninja Turtles. All right, let me show you. First of all, I was missing the Donatello collector's card from the story show Black Belt series. That one right there it was one of the two pieces that I was missing to complete it. And now this one should be, and hopefully it is, if not, I'm gonna look like a fool, the last piece of the puzzle. And I've been waiting for this one for so, so long. Hmm. They packed it very well. And it's the infamous boomerang for the story show Black Belt Raphael. With this, I finished the Black Belts. All right. I don't know about you, but I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm just lost for words. Like really, really rare figures, rare pieces, you know, from the Master Roshi, the Black Bell, um, Ralph Boomerang, and the Donnie Collector Scarred, the two Super Turtles. This one particular here, the two uh, Samurai Pizza Cats. This one that I've never seen before. The, oh my God, no. Uh, I'm just, I'm just super happy, super happy. Uh, so I hope you guys like the, the, the figures. I hope you, you guys like the video and hit the you know subscribe button comment which one's your favorite have you ever seen all these figures 
together? Have you ever have one of these ones in hand or, you know, uh, let me know in the comments. I uh, love to read them and thank you guys. Have a good one.